Hey everybody, welcome to Technology and Toys, and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the ChargeN Pro Premium Mac Bar E. Uh, this is a two-port USB-C hub that sits on the side of your MacBook Pro. It's very similar to the, um, the PureFix one that I looked at a while ago. I don't have that on hand to compare it, but it's very, very similar. It's not too much on the box, so we'll open the box. See what we get inside. First of all, you get a little description of the company. The name ChargeN comes from Charlie and Jenny, which are the founders. Uh, I thought it was initially like a pun on charging or charger, so that's that's kind of cool. Creative people in this world love them. On the inside, uh, it tells you how to review it, and then another overview of what you have. It tells you that it should sit flush against the MacBook. Uh, having a gap is not good. This is definitely not a case-friendly dock. And then you also get this offer for a free 6 port USB charging station, which I am definitely going to take advantage of. That will hopefully come to the channel very soon. And then last but not least, we have the dock itself. So we'll take it out of the plastic. So here's the hub itself. You have your two USB-C ports that will plug into the side of your MacBook. Let me just grab that. It'll plug in kind of like this. It sits flush with the side of it. So, you don't want to air gap like that, that's not good. On the top and bottom, you have your charge end branding. On the side, you have your power LED, your Thunderbolt 3 pass-through. This is also for charging. You have your 4K HDMI port, two USB 3.0 Type-A ports. On the front, you have your micro and full-size SD card readers. And on the back, you have your flip-open gigabit Ethernet port which is, again, very similar to the PureFix one I took a look at a while ago, except that the plastic is almost the same shade of space gray as the rest of the hub, instead of just blacked out. So, let me bring the MacBook back over, and we'll slide this in, and then we'll just plug as much as I can into it. So Ethernet goes there, then I grab power, plug that in, Starts charging. Plug in a flash drive, a USB to 30 pin dock connector cable, and then plug in my iPod touch. And then up front, I'm gonna plug in my full size SD card. If I can find the slot, there we go. And then the micro SD card goes above it, and it is um, click mechanism, so it does sit sort of flush with the body of the hub. You don't have to worry about it snapping off. The only thing I don't have on hand is an HDMI cable to plug into here, but then again, do I ever have an HDMI cable on hand to plug into whatever I'm reviewing? Not really. And then it can also be used on the other side, so switch sides here, just like that, and everything starts charging. It starts charging. Ha, 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 no. Okay, that was a terrible joke to begin with. I'll see myself out. Okay. Bye, everyone. So, on Amazon, right now, this is 67 ish dollars. So, it's right in the same price range as most of the other hubs I've taken a look at, with a few exceptions, obviously, being the Aki one that I took a look at a couple weeks ago, or last week, or whenever this video goes up. So, it's pretty good for the price. I mean, and most hubs have the same assortment of I.O., and they're in the 50 to 70 ish dollar range. So, it's a pretty good hub. It has a 12-month warranty behind it, so if, if something goes wrong, uh, you can send it back. They'll send you a new one. So I'll have this link down in the description for you to check out. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications with the bell icon so that way you don't miss any upcoming videos. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until those upcoming videos, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.